An Election Day Anthem in 20 Verses by Mike Selinger. Election Day, our grand adventure, a roller coaster sphincter clencher. Here's a poem to quell your panic, in fear of four years more tyrannic. The pollsters show a Biden win, and Senate victories coming in. I trust no polls your brain's commanding. I remember Hillary's standing. Talk of normal polling errors makes you suffer nightly terrors. When Trafalgar's sampling quackery makes you reach for one more daiquiri. Even as the race is tightening, the road ahead is short but frightening. It ends this week, or maybe next. Surely this month? Sorry, you're vexed. But if you still repudiate, predicted and 538, then let me help you to envision Biden's winning coalition. Women, grads, minorities, the young and old, LGBTs, moderates, progressives. Why? We're all folks who don't want to die. That's the thing that binds us all together while we're in Trump's thrall. The nation knows this vile pandemic could have been far less systemic. While the president pretends, Joe's our only chance this ends. He'll demand a mask compliance, test vaccines, and trust the science. And more than that, the Biden-Harris ticket has its Queen Daenerys. Kamala has bold intentions to exact the nation's vengeance. After all these wretched funerals, she'll be lining up tribunals now that Donald Trump has spurred a quarter million counts of murder. So cast your vote and trust your fellow folks to boot this tub of jello. All his flying monkeys, too, will have comeuppance overdue. Vote with such titanic force, his judges cannot change its course. Grab your megaphones and swear it will not get to Justice Barrett. Defeat suppression, fear, and burnout. Beat them with astounding turnout. 150 million voters will swamp his lies and stolen SCOTUS. When morning comes, prepare to beat a hasty path into the street. Show the tyrants they can trust us, all to march against injustice. December 14th, our protectors pledge to bind our true electors. Ending doubt, a fascist coup can prop up this mendacious toucan. Should he claim he will not go, the generals will end his show. We'll place our trust in institutions bolstered by our constitution. And as he leaves, wrapped in his flag, in copter, cuffs, or body bag, a nation racked by dark travail will finally, at once, exhale. We will at last remove the ice pack from our foreheads, get our lives back, start each day without an outrage, tweet storm, insult swarm, or rampage. In your heart, you know it's true, we'll soon get rid of you-know-who and all his horrible self-dealing and get this nation back to healing. So take a breath and don your mask and set yourself to freedom's task. I hope you liked my little doggerel. I'll see you all at Joe's inaugural.